Holly here, and this is my husband Eli, and uh, we are the owners here at Antonine's Italian Cafe. And Antonine's opened in 1996 under the ownership of Bruce and Linda Cart, and they were my bosses actually in, when I started working here in 2008. And then I worked my way up from server to bartender and eventually supervisor. And uh, when they were ready to retire, they were generous enough to work out a way that we were able to uh, purchase the restaurant. And that was in 2013, and so it'll be uh, four years that we've owned it um, this August, August 5th, actually. And we're open uh, throughout the day, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sundays. Uh, we're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And um, we just focus on a rustic Italian comfort foods and try to do right by our guests, the, the local community. Uh, a lot of times at lunch we'll have a pretty robust business crowd from the oil center local businesses and the hospital, LGMC right around the corner. And then at night uh, we lower the lights and uh, make a more romantic dinner setting for the uh, local neighborhood people and uh, who, who frequent our establishment and uh, we really get to be their friends and and try to treat them as, as guests in our dining room. We do have an outdoor patio, it is dog friendly. We have the dog bowls uh, <laughs> that are, you know, so we try and, the dogs are our guests as well. Guests love our top selling item would be the basil chicken salad, which is a uh, grilled chicken breast mixed with uh, some basil, some mayonnaise, some seasoning, some pine nuts. and. Uh, served on a fresh bed of mixed greens with our homemade focaccia bread. We make our bread and pizza dough all in-house. We just have a very special niche here. Um, we're tucked away in Oil Center Gardens. We don't plan on moving. This is our special place. We have the one of the oldest crepe myrtles, we believe, in town, right outside. And um, it's for nice shade for outside dining too. That's the that. and, uh, yeah. So uh, and we're actually about to expand. Um, we have a very open dining room here, so it's difficult to host, you know, more private events. And so what we're working on right now is a a party room that's uh, directly adjacent to our current restaurant. And uh, we're hoping to evolve that after you know it starts as a party room, evolve it into something that could be be open a little bit later for guests who are enjoying the symphony and want to have a little something after um, you know and after we've closed so uh, so yeah we're, we'll be offering wine and beer and coffee there and I'd even like to you know offer some local authors uh, works and things like that uh, there as well so there's a lot of a lot of potential a lot of ideas um, going you know with, with that place so